Hi everybody, welcome back to Face It with Dr. G. I'm Dr. G. Welcome back to the channel. Can't wait to talk to you today about hyaluronic acid allergies. Is this a thing? Hyaluronic acid is a humectant, meaning it holds on to water. It brings water into the top layers of the skin and it's found throughout the body. It keeps the deeper layers of our skin hydrated as well as the superficial layers and it improves the function and fluidity of the moisture barrier. Hyaluronic acid is very important. The hyaluronic acid holds onto water in the skin, but it doesn't hold on to this water indefinitely. And if you don't use something right afterwards, this can cause loss of that hyaluronic acid and moisture into the atmosphere. And oftentimes it takes more moisture with it. So you do need a, an occlusive to seal in that hydration, such as dimethicone or petrolatum, shea butter, an oil of sorts, a sunflower oil. If you let that, that water and hydration evaporate, it can be detrimental. It can cause acne flares and irritation and dryness, which is much more common in drier climates, but we want to try to prevent that. So hyaluronic acid can be seen in several different forms on your skincare products. Sodium hyaluronate or hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid. You can see low molecular weight and high molecular weight. But make sure you take a look and see if hyaluronic acid is on there and in what order, if it's first or last. A true allergy to hyaluronic acid is very, very unlikely, but you can develop irritation to hyaluronic acid. Look at the type of hyaluronic acid in your products. Is it high molecular weight? Or is it mo middle molecular weight or is it lower molecular weight? High molecular weight hyaluronic acid tends to stay in the top layers of the skin because it's a larger molecule and it doesn't penetrate as deep. The middle molecular weight hyaluronic acid penetrates just a little bit deeper. It stays in the middle and strengthens the skin. The hydrolyzed forms of hyaluronic acid are much smaller, also known as low molecular weight. They penetrate deeper into the skin and these do have potential to cause some irritation. So when you have injury to the skin and you have a cut or a bruise or swelling or inflammation and your moisture barrier is altered, that high molecular weight hyaluronic acid at the top of your skin is broken down and it's broken down into medium or middle molecular weight hyaluronic acid and then low molecular weight hyaluronic acid. And this low molecular weight has the potential to activate your immune system and can, ca can cause some inflammation. This is very unlikely and it doesn't happen often, but it's good to be aware of. What happens when you have high molecular weight hyaluronic acid at the top of the skin? What happens after that? So you're hydrated, right? You feel great, your skin is plump and those fine lines and wrinkles are gone and it's awesome. But because the cells are hydrated. Hydrated cells are happy cells. They're happy, they're nourished, they're full of fluid. That means they're more efficient as well. They're more efficient at absorbing other ingredients that you're putting on subsequently to that hyaluronic acid product. So let's say a retinol that could be irritating by itself or even a vitamin C serum. Those cells are gonna slurp it up so much quicker and be very much more efficient, which is amazing from a result standpoint, but it can cause a little bit more irritation. So it's something to be aware of. You wanna be careful applying those hyaluronic acids that are just pure high molecular weight hyaluronic acids and then using a retinol product immediately after. If you feel irritated or red, just understand it could actually be the hyaluronic acid and maybe decrease the frequency of that. Overall, hyaluronic acid is incredible. It has so many amazing benefits to your skin health, your overall appearance, your hydration, the glow of your skin. I hope this helped you. I do have a product recommendation for you. So here's a product rec recommendation I have for you guys from the Soyer Skin Collection. How beautiful is this packaging that we're finalizing now? It's so gorgeous. And this product has both hyaluronic acid and niacinamide, which are both incredibly hydrating, nourishing, great for redness, soothes irritation. The niacinamide is around 5%, uh, a little bit less than 5%, which is great, makes it less irritating, and it's very soothing. The hyaluronic acid in this product is a mixed molecular weight hyaluronic acid. So now you guys know this is ideal. This is what you want in a product. Ask your product um, customer service representatives, or if you, if you have a hyaluronic acid, if you're able to find out what types of hyaluronic acid are in those products, that would be fantastic. This is incredible. It's a powerhouse serum. Use it morning and night. It's clear, unscented, quickly absorbed, and it's best to use a serum like this when your skin is wet, either with water, 
or if you use a toner, you can look over at soyer.com at our toner hydratant, which is an aloe-based toner, really amps it up a level and gives you that extra hydration and benefit. So thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for listening. Like below, share with your friends, and I can't wait to see you again next time.